We are getting close to winter. As we can see in the background, the snow is creeping down the mountains and excavating season is soon over here in Northern Norway. But I do still have a few oil tanks to dig up and a little bit more. So it's just keep grinding, <laughs> get everything done. With my mini machines, I'm not doing much work in the winter time. So maybe some snow plowing and something like that, but just more for fun. And today I have the Bota packed up on the trailer and ready to go. Okay, so then we are at this house. This is where I'm removing the oil tank. And as you can see, it was quite a climb up here in reverse. And this is the view, uh, pretty nice. And as we've seen, I need to drive up this small brick wall or concrete wall or yeah, this little fence wall for getting into the garden. And the oil tank is placed behind the house so I need to make a road up here on this edge and then I'll get back here and here we have the pipes for the oil tank and the filler cap so first step is to drive up here Okay, so we got up, and as you can see I used the boom and the arm on the excavator as a weight rod when I was climbing up here because I had bedrock down here and just freshly filled dirt over there so I found out that was the safest way to do it. But now we are, we are up here and here is the tank so let's just start excavating and see what we can find what kind of tank it is if it's steel if it's glass fiber or whatever and uh, hopefully it's not that big that this one can't handle it we'll see tank was not deep luckily but I was guessing it because uh, 
this is probably excavated down by hand and they made this brick wall and everything just to make it a little bit higher and make room for the tank so I was expecting it to be really shallow and it was so that's great um, you can see here are the this is the fill layer cap and this is the air pipe so they're both going down here into the same place I think yeah all the way in the end here this one is and there is the pipes going into the building let's see put some light on here we have the pipes going into the building and here is the air cap and if you have a look here uh, take a look at this see how narrow it is right here where the dirt have been and the moist have been all the time it's rusted corroded there and you can see the same on this pipe so what's happened with happening with this is that af after some time uh, the pipes go off and water from the roof and stuff water from the ground is starting to fill up this tank and soon enough it's pouring over with water that is mixed with fuel and then you have the smell in your building and everything and it's not a good thing so it's a good thing that it's they are not allowed anymore in the ground here it's pretty great so let's go and get the kit and open the tank and see if it's something in it because we are not excavating anymore before we know that it's empty because if I punctured this and it's full of diesel then we have some problems okay so now I, now I have a measuring rod and can open this okay I can't reach the bottom with this one let's see There are some diesel fuel in it, so I think we just about this far down. As you can see, it's all the way in the bottom. So I got a small bucket and excavate the whole tank out, and then we can drill a hole in the top and empty it. Okay, now we are cutting off the pipes, so it's easier to excavate around the tank. And I do have a fire extinguisher with me. Just in case. was rusted completely off in the ground so just pulling it out There is actually one important thing to check before you cut these pipes and that is that they have a slope down into the tank. If not, they could have been filling them and the pipe is leading this way and it's always containing some kerosene. So, But here we can see they are clearly going downhill. Here we can see also on this filler pipe, it's corroded all the way, just where the ground is, nothing left.
So these small pipes can actually contain some diesel fuel from the day tank inside or something. So it's nice to have equipment ready for collecting if it is. So I will go and get it. Okay, let's see what we got. You can see now I'm cutting at the highest point, so should be no problem. This one is empty also. Okay, then we have cut the pipes, cut the supply lines, and now I will excavate a little bit more with the narrow bucket on both sides so we can get the roundness out of the ground and then we should be able to lift it up and uh, then we will empty it out of kerosene because the level inside the tank is so low so it's no danger for me excavating right now. So let's do that. tank is out and uh, now I drilled a hole in it and uh, that's how I can pump it out everything that's inside so now we will rig up the pump and start pumping it into the cans and uh, when that's done we will put a strap down there hook it up to the excavator and just pull it out hopefully and you can see it's just caught between bedrock and the house so it's just room for the tank here and uh, one thing and one thing is sure with this one I could not have had the Kobelko here it's barely room for the little Kubota so next step after, the, after this is probably excavating by hand so yeah well let's start pumping
There we have the Ryubi pump running, emptying out everything and you can see it's filling up pretty quick. So I just need to get ready with the next tank. And I have four 25 liters dunks, uh, or tanks with me, so hopefully it's enough. Then the tank is as empty as I can get it and you can see I have two containers and one is containing the pump and everything that is used for pumping the kerosene and uh, everything in here is dirty and smelling of kerosene so it's nice to have it in its own container and the one I dropped earlier is the one with all my tools that I need for removing a tank like this. So now we'll just carry down the cans and uh, then we'll get the strap up and we will try and see if we can lift the tank up. It's empty now, so... The tank came out great, so I was just getting it down to the car and the trailer. And on this little quote I have no lights in the back, so backing up here it would be... I need to move the light over here so I can see something.
All right, tank is down. Now it's just start filling back the hole.
here is the finished result uh, as agreed with the customer we were just supposed to take dirt from the closest area and reuse it for filling the hole where the tank is and I also made a slope down from the wall so it won't be any problems with water coming from snow melting and stuff like that so pretty great this job is done it's off to the next one tomorrow there is an other tank so and what a view they have up here